have a new free Tesla MRI scanner that uh, is state of the art. It results in better image quality, higher resolution images that ultimately will lead to better patient diagnosis. And uh, there's an, an added advantage as well is that because we are able to generate better images, we're able to reduce patient scan times, which means the patient is on the table for a less amount of time, ultimately resulting in better patient comfort. It really generates superb images of the brain, the spine, uh, the uh, joints and extremities, so it's been very well received by uh, neurologists and neurosurgeons, orthopedists. Uh, most physicians who are able to view the images can really see the difference in image quality between this scanner and lower field strength magnets. These images are extremely crisp and it allows us to see in more detailed structures that we haven't been able to see on prior scans or at least as well. You can see just for as, as an example, you really see the distinction between the meniscus, uh, the articular cartilage, and the bone. Um, we're, by being able to see smaller structures in better detail, we're going to be able to pick up more subtle pathology that we may have missed on prior scans. And it, it gives you a lot more confidence in your diagnosis and able to see injury and determine uh, pathology from, from normal anatomy. We have another example of a, a study, an MRI of the brain that was performed recently. And uh, again, we're able to see the smaller structures uh, much better on the scanner. We also get uh, great uh, differentiation between different parts of the brain, including the gray and white matter. Cardiac MRI is an important and exciting new technology that's currently available at Holy Cross Hospital. For a guy like me who's an electrophysiologist or a heart rhythm specialist, it allows me to better care for my patients. I have patients that may have previous myocardial infarctions or may have really strange heart electrical disorders such as arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia that would benefit from cardiac MRI imaging. Now just having a cardiac MRI is not important. You have to have the right person who knows how to read the technology. And that's something that we're priding ourselves on in building here at this particular hospital. Um, the other day we had a patient who had hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, a young 40-year-old gentleman who was able to get a cardiac MRI performed as part of his overall diagnostic workup, which basically helped us cinch a diagnosis in this gentleman and lead to better care. I think cardiac MRI is definitely a tool of the future, and I think that it allows us to perform our job that much better. This is a cardiac MRI of a patient's heart. As you can see here, the cardiac MRI allows a clear delineation of the heart chambers. This is the left ventricle. Over here, you start to get a suggestion of the mitral valve, and back over here is the left atrium. This is the interventricular septum, the right ventricle, the tricuspid valve, and over here, we start to see portions of the right atrium. The beauty of cardiac MRI is that it allows us to see the heart in real-time motion. Now as we play it, you can start to see the heart actually pumping and the blood moving from chamber to chamber. This degree of visualization allows the physician to better understand real-time defects that involve the heart, as well as have a better understanding of how to approach treatment strategies. This scanner though has another advantage, it has a very large bore, meaning the tube that the patient goes into and it's uh, it's quite open while it's still a closed magnet because all these high field strength three Tesla magnets are closed it's pretty open so it, it's patients should feel less claustrophobic than some of the other closed scanners that are out there so it's a really it's a big advantage uh, for improving image quality and also um, you know it'll help considerably with patient uh, comfort as well on the scanner